hello everybody welcome back to my channel I wanted to upload a video today because I'm really trying to stick with my scheduled videos like I used to which is four days a week I'm not gonna just put up a video just to put it up however I kind of want to do a spin-off on my video that I posted yesterday and I was talking like at the end of the day because I wasn't feeling well and to be honest I, I don't know I think it's What's making me feel nauseous is the pills that I'm taking. So if you would have remembered and followed along my journey with my endometriosis, my um, gynecologist had prescribed me some new pills. But he said, first, finish off your old ones, cut down um, from two and go down to one, which I did for the last couple months, and then start taking these pills and just take one pill a day. And it's like a better pill, you know, works better, etc <clears throat> excuse me so I started taking those pills but I find that the the side effect that I'm having is they make me feel a little bit nauseous now I've tried eating something with the pill um, I've tried you know taking it like later on in the day not first thing in the morning like things that you do when you know vitamins sometimes even make me feel nauseous right but it doesn't seem to matter when I take the pill. At some point in the day, I feel nauseous. So I feel nauseous this morning and I haven't even taken the pill The pill today. The pill. It's, it's not a birth control pill. It's a pill to help me with my endometriosis. Then I do meet back with my gynecologist. I think it's October to go over what I want to do with my endometriosis. I still haven't made a decision. I'm actually really contemplating on doing the scrape and you know not doing these pills every day but it depends on how i'm feeling throughout the next couple of months um if what route i want to take there's a few options i mentioned it all in that video if i remember i will definitely try to link it up in the cards above with my appointment that i went to go and see my gynecologist but it is 11 o'clock we slept in a little bit today we slept in until nine o'clock we were up quite late last night as you guys know Sundays is always my night to watch 90 Day Fiance and it's like there's three episodes because now they have a spin a couple spin-off shows like Match Made Abroad um and things of that nature so it's always like a late night for my shows and it puts me to like 9 10 o'clock that I'm watching my shows and then I go to bed and we watched a movie that was actually based on a true story it's called wild wild something if i remember i'm sorry i'll put it up on the screen but we've been actually hitting like a few good movies on netflix which is is amazing um but we ended up watching that and then that took us to like almost midnight <laughs> and so it was a really late night for for us because we normally well jimmy has trouble with insomnia but for me that was a pretty late night to fall asleep so we did sleep in a little bit this morning but what i wanted to talk about in this video and what I've been thinking about is, you know, once in a while, I know my focus on this channel is not my weight loss. However, obviously I still think about it. It's, it's not the focus of my day anymore or my week, like to weigh in or, or even the scale. Like I just don't want that to be my focus because I can really get hyper fixated on weight loss journey in general because, you know, my weigh-ins and what I'm eating every day and like, I just get really really hyper fixated on that and I don't want that to be my life because there is, is so much more to be fixated on in this life you know there's your husband there's your kids if you feel like you are getting fixated with your weight loss journey please reevaluate I've always you know I lately I've really been talking about this on my channel because it's happened to me and I'm sure it's happened to you but a lot of people including myself it goes unnoticed you just think of that's your life you know and I'm gonna be thinking about it every single like day of my life and I don't want to be like that anymore I don't want to you know there's there's just more to life than your weight loss okay but um you know I still think about it obviously I still think about it so I've really been thinking about um like kind of a lull that I'm feeling right now as far as and I'm everybody feels that way I feel I felt it many a times in my weight loss journey and you just kind of get bored 
sick of doing the same routine you want to change it up a little bit and I've been doing the same thing for months now I know I don't go into detail on my channel about that anymore because to be honest a lot of people criticize what you're doing or not doing what you're eating what you're not eating and you know even when I share my meals like people will comment on it how it's not good for me and oh my gosh you're eating white bread oh my gosh like and I can't do it anymore and I that's why I don't share a lot of what I'm eating on this channel anymore I may go into that later on but for right now just in the transition you know over the last six months of my channel being keto and now going towards something different it's it's a shock to subscribers and I get it I totally understand that um but you know I also have feelings and you know during this if you want to call it a weight loss journey I haven't focused on it a lot but it's still a conscious uh thought that is in my mind because I feel like that's important I just don't want to get hyper fixated on it but obviously I still want to make conscious decisions of what I'm eating what I'm doing taking part in exercise you know doing all the things that makes a healthy balanced lifestyle and I've really been feeling at a lull because number one I haven't been exercising and walking like I have been and it's because it's been getting really hot here and it it's not an excuse because me I just I can't tolerate the heat you know with my eczema and things of that nature now I do have a treadmill and the treadmill is actually upstairs and I definitely can do the treadmill but I just feel like I don't want to do it <laughs> I'm gonna be honest and I feel like I'm just kind of in that slump you know when you you're just leveling you're leveling and it's like I just feel that way and what do we do when we feel that way well we we do something different and we do something that excites us and you know nobody should stay complacent in your eating and your exercising I feel like you always need to be changing things up now please don't change things up on a weekly basis please like if you have any sort of eating disorder I suggest not to be changing it up every every week or you know doing a fast or you know doing just changing things up drastically because that will do a lot of hindrance on your mental health if you do have some sort of eating disorder if you are confident that you have overcome your eating disorder as far as like binging and you know a food addiction things of that nature then go ahead and do your three-day fast um, a lot of people are doing the sardine fast like if you feel confident that you have overcome that mentally in your weight loss struggles then please do whatever you want to do if you want to do a, a fast um, this week a, a sardine fast next week a water fast the next week be it by all means please do that but I just want you to really think about if it's going to do any damage to your mental health and maybe you're going to binge afterwards or you're going to say well I've only eaten sardines for three days so I get to deserve a, a treat on the fourth day you know like that's mentally what I would go through <laughs> and the struggles that I would have now if you're not feeling that way then please go ahead and do it but I see a lot of it floating around on the internet and I want you to be in the right mind space to be doing those challenges so please reevaluate how your connection to food is and how your relationship is with food I just want to say that piece because I think it's really important and I like I've said in the last few videos of mine um, you know and I've gone into explanations in other different videos as to why going keto and doing you know other diets or Atkins or you know carnivore or things of that nature has done more damage for me with my mental health you know you could say as far as like my addiction to food 
you can go back on videos of mine I've explained why I've actually done quite a few videos in the last month that explain that so if you're wondering what I'm talking about please go back and watch those videos but I don't want you to say oh I'm discouraged and I need to change it up let's do a fast I don't want you to think about that instantly to change up things if you're really still struggling mentally with your relationship to food is is what I'm saying so what are we gonna do you know we're struggling with our food addiction we're struggling we're still struggling with our relationship with food and we want to change it up however doing a fast or doing something extreme is what I'm getting at is not healthy or beneficial whatsoever so what what are we going to do we are going to reevaluate things we maybe will do a different form of exercise if it's available to you. One thing that I really miss and what isn't available to me necessarily, we live 30 minutes outside of a city and I would love to participate in those drop-in volleyball, drop-in badminton, drop-in basketball. Like I would love to participate in that. And that may be a thing that actually I might look into because doing it once a week, even if I can get Jimmy involved, if he's up to it, because obviously he just had back surgery, his third, third spinal surgery, um, and he just had his back surgery in January. But that's a way to change things up. Look into your community and look into your local gym that offers that. There, I know around here, especially in Medicine Hat, um, they offer a lot of those things as far as drop-ins at the YMCA. And that's something that I'm really considering changing things up because I think even changing my form of exercise would really get me motivated to start walking again. Walking has always been my form of exercise because it's something that I can do no matter what weight I'm at and no matter what age I'm at. And that's one thing that I'm looking for as far as, you know, my, my health journey is something that is sustainable for me, sustainable with eating, sustainable with exercise. Like that's the one thing that I really, really think about when I am looking at my health journey. Not necessarily a weight loss journey, but a health journey. And those things, that's what I continue on and sustain for the rest of my life. So that's really what I'm thinking of right now. Um, I'm gonna be looking into it probably today. Today is a holiday, I won't be able to call a lot of places, but there's a lot of information online or even on Facebook or, you know, you can call around and do your research on that. But I really feel like that would be something to motivate me and to get out and be sociable as well. Because as you guys know, I am in this office pretty much seven days a week and for at least seven, eight hours every single day. Um, and I think it would be just a nice break from, from that. My... <laughs> I started my website, like I had mentioned, I revamped it again, and it looks amazing, by the way. I always have it linked in my description, but right now, currently, I just looked this morning, I have 54 open orders, and it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming, and I really, I feel overwhelmed. I've said that in videos, but, you know, doing something like exercise and, and partaking in like a drop-in volleyball or badminton, would be so beneficial in so many ways. So I encourage you to look for something different when you're feeling, you know, that happening. Because one thing with me when when that happens and I'm starting to feel like it's really mundane and really monotonous and all of these feelings is that I I quit and I give up. And I don't want to do that because I'm I'm I've learned that determination is definitely one thing that keeps you going in the long run and I am determined to make this like a healthy journey for me and not to give up on my exercise not to give up on you know my my healthy food decisions so that is one thing that I really wanted to talk about in this video quickly is that because you know a lot of you are still on your health journey and you know maybe you're feeling that way like and it, it happens it happens quite often so 
that is how I'm feeling. I still haven't weighed in in the longest time ever since I did that weigh-in video and I, I'm not going to because I can just feel like I can feel when I'm losing weight, I can feel when I'm gaining weight and your body is, you know, your body knows best and technically like I feel like everybody kind of knows when they put on an extra five pounds or even when you're losing and I feel like I've just kind of been staying the same if I'm going to be honest. I felt like I probably have lost a few pounds but once again I don't want to step on the scale. I don't want to be discouraged. I don't want to fixate on the numbers. I don't want to I don't want to feel that way for the rest of my life. I really really don't and um so I just wanted to share my thoughts with you and where I'm at kind of in this healthy journey, weight loss journey of mine. And, you know, I still want to do these videos every once in a while. But like I said, I don't want to be the focus of my channel anymore. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Please make sure you're taking advantage of summer. There's a lot of you out there, probably the majority of you that love summer. I personally dislike it. It's my least favorite season of the year. Uh, probably fall and winter. Winter probably is my favorite season. I know, I know. But uh, take advantage of summer out there. I know a lot of you do enjoy it. So get out and enjoy it. Go for a walk in the morning if you're a morning person or if you're an, a night walker. Just go out there and enjoy it. If you have younger kids, grandkids, take the time to enjoy this weather with them, you guys. So I will see you guys in the next video. I just wanted to quickly upload this and chat with you guys on where I'm at and how I'm feeling. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!